it's my turn. Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. U.S. importee Roth Entry secured victory in Saturday's second staging of the Mute Mile, the English-speaking Caribbean's richest horse race contested at Kimanas Park in Jamaica. Breaking from the 15-box French rider Julien Leperou guided the six-year-old bay to a win for Florida-based Jamaican trainer Rohan Crichton. Here's aid commentator Brian Rickman with the call. Expected rough entry goes for that lead. The three-year-old ability in the green with the red cap races out wide. Charging through, that's a Mamma Mia in the white cap, and a Mamma Mia now shows good speed and has that lead on the run down the back stretch, racing toward the six. Mamma Mia out in front. She's my destiny racing right there on the rail as they wake their way now. Runaway Algo and Mahogany right up with those. Rough entry hidden from view, racing out wide of horses. Mojito the Grey races up next. Ability on the outside. I am Fred as they leave the five. In behind those, that's American Tap. Atomica has a lot of work to do along with Is That a fact they are joined at the hip. Money Miser races up next as they go charging now inside the last half of a mile. Perfect Brew left toward the back of the field and the Great Duke will be running late as usual as they charge toward the final three in the Mute Mile. It's the Philly Mamma Mia. She's brave on that lead. Rough entry now sent in chase by Leperu as they're about to arrive at the 516th. Watchability closing in in the green silks. Mahogany is also bubbling to the ball but they're into the lane and still they have not been able to head Mamma Mia. Here now is Rough Entry, and Rough Entry grabs the lead. Mamma Mia falters down against the rail. Ability is wound up for run, but it is Rough Entry and Julian Leperu. This is the Mute Mile, and Rough Entry and Julian Leperu begin to streak away from them. Inside the final 16th, it seems to be all over. Rough Entry, the foreign invader, and Julian Leperu take the second running of the Mute Mile. Ability is second. Mamma Mia, is that a fact, is fourth, and Perfect Brew is fifth. All right, well, the man at the helm, the analysis, um, who does the analysis, of course, and he's been there at Kimana's Park. Michael Kane, he joins us on set. Well, we had you in studio on Friday. We had a good chat. Lance was here, Ricardo was not. Um, talk to me about what we saw from the Mute Mile this Saturday. Rough entry, came up trumps, and he proved a lot of us wrong. Yes, uh, definitely rough entry. Uh, first, let me say uh, kudos to the connections of rough entry, uh, particularly trainer Rowan Crichton, who is Jamaican born, overseas based, and this is his first horse ever at Caymanus Park. Sadly, his first horse in the richest race ever at Caymanus Park, and he won. So kudos to Rowan Crichton and Julian Leperu riding for the first time in Jamaica as well, winning his second race. He won a race earlier with Captain Calico. So it's a first time for the horse running at Caymanus Park. And it's a win in the richest race ever. So kudos to the connections there of uh, rough entry. The race in and of itself, uh, when I had a look at the replay, the review side of it, I, the word anticlimactic seems to have come to mind yeah. over and over. Because we didn't see the big run expected from Atomica. She actually lost the rider three four rounds out. Mm -hmm. The big run from Mahogany wasn't forthcoming either. And the three-old filly that led the race, Mamma Mia, uh, she... Showed good pace and speed. She won the 1,000 guineas. She won the Oaks. So she, we, we know that she has talent. Uh, but to tear off in 23 flat, 45 flat, 110 flat, leading the likes of Atomica, Runaway, Algo, and She's My Destiny, to name a few, that easily, that wasn't uh, expected. So uh, the big performances from Mahogany, I Am Fred, She's My Destiny, even Runaway, Algo, in addition to Atomica, yeah. wasn't forthcoming. But... Uh, as I said, kudos to Rough Entry. Yeah. They did it. First time ever racing. And uh, it was uh, exuberant confidence by the connections of Rough Entry to never race him prior to the Mute Mile. Yeah. So he, he, was, he was in the island for a couple of months well, and they decided not to race. So that was a very high level of confidence in his ability to win the race straight out the bat. So kudos, one by seven lengths or seven and a half lengths, 138 flat, a new stakes record. And uh, we're told that he's going to stay in the island. So... We could be in treat of seeing him next season yeah. in, the, in the third running of the Mute Mile. What I found is leading up to this race, everybody who felt as if Rough Entry would not win was just speaking about the fact that new to the country, never raced there before. And then I even heard from some of the trainers because I chat with them when I go to the track saying that, you know, 
um, the trainer was not doing the best during exercise because he didn't want to wisen up people <laughs> as to what was expected from this horse. And now I'm starting to believe that, you know, he was onto something. Okay, well, uh, he, he could have been onto something there for real. Michael, and he didn't want you to know, so you can do the odds. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I gave him 10 to 1, and uh, I must say that some, uh, uh, some, some patriotism was uh, involved there because uh, I never saw him run before locally, and there are all the big horses. Atomic are my favorite horse to tip all time. She always wins when I tip her, except for these instances where some, some things go wrong. Uh, so she won five consecutive races coming into this, and uh, really always take pride in tipping Atomica. So I couldn't have gone against her to but tip a foreign horse that I've never seen perform before. She really disappointed you. Yes, uh, the people. I was really disappointed. But uh, that's the breaks of racing. Can't win every time. 20 seconds. What went wrong with Atomica? Well, let me see. Let me first uh, say as well, the front wraps are on. I've yeah. never seen front wraps on Atomica ever since she has raced. So Explain what that means for the, those of us who never go to Cape Manus the, Park. Vet wraps on the forelegs. Mm -hmm. So our two four, our forelegs had on vet wraps. And all of the other races that she won this year, and uh, as far as I can remember last year, she didn't have on any vet wraps. So that could have been a sign of uh, maybe there was some concern there. And at the same time, uh, she didn't come out of the starting gate in good order. So from the get-go, it wasn't her, her game at all. All right. Well, Michael Kane, I want to thank you so much. You visit, uh, visited us twice within a couple of days. I hope you're not a stranger and you join us when there are other events at Kimanis Park. Pleasure is all mine. I look forward to it as well. Thank you so much. Well, viewers, let's take a quick break. And with the time that we have left, we're going to bring you the best of interactive.